Hey guys, for this little thing you will need a few things. Okay, so we'll just start with the baskets. Okay, you need a garbage can, preferably an empty one. This one, just I got it from Target. Um, a messy folder. I like trying my hardest to get a messy folder because I can make it up easy. Okay, clips. If you don't have them, it's fine. It's just for, you know. Stapler. Again, if you don't have it, it's fine. I got this at Staples. Some post-its or labels. Uh, labels would be best, but um, post-its will work too. And a Sharpie or really anything that will show up and stay. Um, preferably not pencil. Those do not stay very well. It's either like Sharpie or like a pen. Okay, so... First what you do is you want to open your folder. Okay. So um I just have one of these and I like this because it keeps track of everything. It says Kendra's homework folder, back of heart. And um on the back is Kendra. So it looks like a little heart thing up there. And it's just open and closed. Okay, so here's where the labels and stuff come in. Usually, the, you don't have to get this kind, but usually you'll get fil folders with a pocket on this side and a pocket on that side. So, um, you could take, like, the post-its and write, like, homework on one side and, like, notes on the other. I don't know. Mine already has that, but in this case it says, return to school. And keep at home. Okay, what I do with this since I have binders is, um, because a lot of schools require binders, so what I do is, um, I have a return to school as my, like, homework and, like, passes that, like, I need to fill out. And the keep at home is just, like, kind of, like, my graded things and everything or just anything that I really need that's not, like, homework. So, um, like if I have to keep on some, keep on to something, that's where I'll put it. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a few packs. Like I gathered up everything I took, some stuff from the trash. Um, it's like we're gonna have to make a few piles. So this is my music packet. So I don't need that anymore. And I do encourage you guys recycle. Yes. So um, yeah. And if you have like a stable, get um, a stabler remover. Or if not, you could just kind of like pick the sides with big care, very careful. So I'll put that right by the garbage can. Um, this is homework, so I'll put it in the homework bag. This is an old test that I got, so I'll put that in the tests, because I like my tests. Um, I keep like. I keep like finished like finals and everything like, like papers like this kind of stuff like written stuff like and everything so put all that and then I put like all these papers in one spot so let me just do that really quick so like this is where like the stapler comes in and everything. This is Monk Poetry. It goes on. I didn't ever staple it, so. I would staple that. Put it in the fresh pile. Staple, recycle, new, homework, homework. This is where the paper clips come in handy. Um, I actually just got done typing this, so I'll put some paper clips on there. Put that and then return to school. So this is a reading guide, so I have to study from that, which I already did. Something I didn't have to do. This. This is notes for class, so I'll put this in the keep at home. So I can put that in my binder. This is homework. That is something that I have to do. 
I made a I Love You Because book. Um, can't share that number, but, because it's kind of my number, but. It says, call me because, no, I love you because, yeah. And, oh, and yeah, and it's a few pages long and everything, so. I will staple that and give that to someone. First, do that. Put that in the dumb pile. This is something that I got for um, camp. I don't need that, so I'll put the recycling. This is something if I want to study, so I'll put that right there. This is something that I have to do. And this is something that I have to turn in. So, just by taking all of that, I reduced from that big folder to something really low. So, I'll show you what's like in the folder now. So, it's the same thing, just like that. And notice how. Um, I actually sorted them now. So, keep at home just like my notes and stuff that like I have to return to class. So, these are just stuff that I have to review and put them in my binder. A hole punched. Um, even if schools don't recommend you to get binder, I always re recommend to get the binders and everything. So, I reduced this side to two. This is some of my, um, missed work. And then, like, just, like, things that, uh, I have to turn into school. Like, projects. Oh, and I always paperclip these, this stuff together. So, like, say if there's a rough draft, then proofreading, blah, blah, blah. I always, always, always put that together because you never know if you're just going to need one part of it or all parts of your paper. So that's always helpful for me. And then I just put my embryology in there because you know I have to study that, which is horrible. Yeah. And usually what I do with this is, hold on, I'll show you as soon as I put these papers back in, is since I have to use this every day for um, our, our embryology class, um, what I do is, ooh, my information, what I do is I take it and I love these like little pockets like I don't know what they're called but I love them and what I usually do is I slip it right over the counter camera folder, folder and it fits right like that so I never lose it but sometimes like I'll take it I'll put in the very first as soon as I open it up like the bam didn't lose it it's right there so we're supposed to keep it in our binders but I never keep, like, important stuff like this. I never keep in my binders. The only thing I really keep in my binders is, like, notes. I don't know. And what I like to do with my notes is I take it home and I type it. And then, yeah. Okay, well, bye.